Welcome to exam success story. In today's video, we will discuss about another important scheme Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana. This is an ambitious scheme of Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. It was launched in year 2007. Scheme was revised in year 2017 as Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana, remunerative approaches for agriculture and allied sector rejuvenation also known as RKVY Raftar. The scheme was further extended till year 2022. The administrative approval for this scheme is pending and it is likely to be extended for few more years. In the union budget this year, Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana was expanded and now contained various components like Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sichai Yojana, Paramparagat Krishi Vikas Yojana, National Project on Soil and Health Fertility, Rain-Fed Area Development and Climate Change, Submission on Agriculture Mechanization and many more. Objectives of this scheme are to incentivize states to increase investment in agriculture and allied activities, planning and executing programs for agriculture development, to ensure preparation of districts and states' agriculture plans, to achieve goal of reducing the yield gaps in important crops, to maximize returns of the farmers, and to facilitate integrated development of agriculture and allied sector. Basic features of Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana are, it is a state plan scheme which aims at making farming a remunerative economic activity. Financial assistance is provided to states in this scheme for pre-harvest and post-harvest infrastructure, for value addition using agri-business models and for projects of local and national priorities. It is a centrally sponsored scheme where funds are shared in ratio of 60 is to 40 between union and state governments. Preparation of district and state agriculture plans is mandatory to receive allocation for the states. Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana focuses on various areas of agriculture and allied sector. It focuses on development of food crops, cereals, minor millets, pulses, agriculture mechanization, soil health to allied areas like animal husbandry, sericulture, organic farming, dairy development, fisheries and many more. The Standing Committee on Agriculture has highlighted various issues involved in implementation of this scheme. The allocations for the scheme are not utilized optimally and timely. Last year about rupees 3700 crore was allocated for this scheme, however only 2000 crore was originally utilized. Delay in approval of projects and funds by states is a major issue in this scheme which reduces its space of implementation. Various time state governments faces issue of cuts in allocation due to failure in submitting utilization certificates timely. The Standing Committee on Agriculture has also provided various recommendations in order to resolve issues in this scheme. Committee has suggested to change guidelines of the scheme to ensure that states are provided funds for their agriculture and infrastructure projects. It also recommended to increase the time period for states in submission of utilization certificates for schemes. Innovation and Agri-Entrepreneurship Development Component was launched under this scheme in 2018 for providing financial support to agripreneurs and incubation ecosystem. During recent union budget of 2022, a significant increase in allocation of Rs 10,433 crore was provided for this scheme. Subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Join us on Telegram channel for daily updates. Link is provided in the description below. Thanks for watching.